We drove almost 200 miles up here today and I think it was really cool that I got to uh, see on the news for the military to help people that are in need in our country um, as I think that there is a lot of need in our own homeland country. I was raised in a family that didn't have the money to, to take us to the dentist. So I, uh, this is my first time. Indeed, people came from near and far to Harrisburg Middle School in Illinois to receive medical, dental, and optical services provided by soldiers at no cost to the individuals needing the services. Local media had publicized the upcoming medical innovative readiness training mission for months informing the community about the arrival of the 50 medical professionals from St. Louis, Missouri and Fort Bragg, North Carolina. They would set up at the local school to provide services for nearly two weeks. Soldiers from the 7215th Medical Support Unit provided medical exams and counsel as they sat with patients and checked their vital signs. Dentists were busy in the mobile dental van getting x-rays of teeth and prioritizing the worst issues they would be able to redress. Optometrists were busy with eye exams and eyeglass fabrication, determined to ensure each resident in need received a pair of glasses before it was time to pack up the equipment and return home. These services are a significant help to many in the region. This area has a really limited medical uh, capability. They don't have a lot of physicians in the area and specifically services like dental and optometry. So we're here to fulfill some of the needs of the community. Um, but that's an interesting thing because you may have insurance but still not see the doctor because your deductible is so high. So having insurance is not having health care. Katie Jo Lane, an environmental health practitioner with Egyptian Public Health Department and the volunteer coordinator for the mission, got to hear stories firsthand from patients receiving care. Someone I personally knew came through. He was going to have to be charged $3,000 to get an issue fixed. Uh, they took care of it here for the no cost. Another gentleman said it was going to be $120 per tooth pulled. Um, when he went to the dentist, he got like eight teeth taken care of at no cost. So everyone's been really happy about it and really grateful that the services have come here. Specialist Eric Hunt witnessed an experience that touched him during the IRT mission. There was a man, he was in uh, optometry the other day, and I mean, he, he was crying because he... <laughs> He just needed this, this basic, basic stuff, and, uh, and we're here, and we did it for free. It took a little bit of time, but, I mean, this relief was just, like, overwhelming to him. The 24th Medical Detachment optometry team provided glasses to their patients, usually within two hours or less. I think people were just really impressed by all that we're able to do, as much as we're doing, and continuously bringing people back to give them as, as close to comprehensive care as we can within these 10 days. So I believe it's a blessing to be here. I believe it's a blessing to be in the military. Um, and I think it's a tremendous opportunity to be able to treat the very civilians that we fight for every day. Army and Army Reserve personnel provided the medical services in partnership with Delta Regional Authority, or DRA, who requested the support through the Department of Defense's Innovative Readiness Training Program, an initiative that focuses on community needs such as infrastructure, health care, transportation, and cybersecurity. These priorities align with the military's mission essential training requirements to ensure individual and unit combat readiness. But this is a perfect mission for a unit like ours. From a military standpoint, it's a great exercise to, to kind of practice all of the steps. And then from a medical care aspect, it's, it's great because we're actually hands-on and able to provide care to patients. So. It's really a win-win on both sides. After the mission in Harrisburg was complete, more than 1,075 people in the area received over 2,000 medical services collectively with nearly 550 pairs of eyeglasses distributed in the 10-day period. Reporting from Harrisburg, Illinois, for Army Reserve Medical Command, I'm Sergeant First Class Kenny Scott.